What's up, pack members? It's the Weird Spirits Elf here. I'm going to turn next Soul Cow for Sake's Creation Showcase. The character we have this time is Lambo. So, Lambo is another character who's important in Atlas's story. He pretty much acts as like a partial sensei to Atlas and is also the great Magi warrior of fire. So, oh yeah. First, you can also say that arguably Alyssa, if you all still remember her, her, you can say that Alyssa, since she uses fire as well, you can say that Leonbo definitely trained Alyssa to, you know, be strong and use the art of, you know, flame sword style or whatever. Whatever the case, his outfit may not look like much because, you know, it's just a black outfit with some orange gloves or whatever, and these are on the feet. But you can see that the black kind of represents ash or whatever. And then obviously his weapon is, you know, the handle is definitely the cooler part of that since it's more colorful and his blade is just normal. But, yep. Yeah. The coolest part about him is his cape. Because it doesn't show up on the outside, which is a shame. It's supposed to be on the outside as well. But on the inside, there's actually a fire, like, pattern of fire design on it, which actually is really cool in my opinion. I'm glad I was able to pull that off. But I don't really think there's anything else to really say about him, so let's go ahead and jump in the mock battle and see what he can do. I can get a move right. Come on. Yep. Pete's nose blades awakened, as you can see. And I think if we do it like this. Well, well, yep, I think. Well, I don't know if that actually worked or not, but let's see if I can do anything else. I guess not. His different styles and there and very nice. Go ahead and soul charge him. And here's his crit pledge. Pretty cool. And obviously when he's, he's you know has the blade awakened, he's obviously his attacks are pretty enhanced. Plus as you may know that fire effect will stay until like the end of the round or whatever. But overall, I'll, I'll go ahead and just like let him like awaken so we can get that effect. So yeah, so yeah, that there was Leonbo. Overall, I do think he is definitely a cool character. Definitely has an important part in Atlas's story. But uh, yeah, well, pretty much, I say Atlas's story. Pretty much, like after Atlas defeat the, the defeated Lord and Light or whatever, or in the past, for those who watch Wolfborn in the Darkness, which by the way, that series doesn't really matter much anymore. But Krish. After Lord In Light's defeat, like, Atlas thought he was at peace for a while, but then, like, a new enemy arose, and pretty much, at that point, that's when Atlas started, like, he made his own team, and, like, now, if he tries to take down any enemy, of, or any ally of this new enemy that stands in his way, he won't, he won't always just take dark, or try to compromise with them, but, you know, that doesn't usually work, so... Yep. Whatever the case, I think that just our ass of this video. So, until next time, this is Spirit the Alpha, signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack.